السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر طلحہ شفیق اینڈ یو آر واچنگ پاکستان ویٹرنی ایجوکیشن دس از سیکنڈ ویڈیو آن ریڈیو گرافی آف دا اسکلٹن سسٹم ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ٹیچ اباؤٹ دا فریکچرس اینڈ ایٹ دا اینڈ آف دس ویڈیو یو ول ایبل ٹو نو اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو ڈسکرائب اے فریکچر and radiological science of fracture repair in this video i will also tell you about radiological science of fracture union non union fractures and male union fractures so watch the complete video and don't miss any part if you are new on channel then please subscribe and like the video for more such videos how to describe a fracture to describe a fracture uh, always remember you have to describe the distal fragment as displaced uh, while you have to consider proximal fragment as fixed sometimes uh, we get a question that why it is uh, so much important to take a radiograph uh, of a fracture instead of that uh, during uh, examination uh, a clinician uh, can uh, Uh, easily identify sometimes uh, a fracture but uh, why radiography is so much important the reason behind this uh, is to confirm the clinical diagnosis then the second one is to decide the best surgical method uh, it is very important to demonstrate the type and uh, the site of surgery uh, of fracture Uh, so on the basis of type and uh, site of fracture it is very important to decide best surgical method the third one is to assess the degree of repair uh, it means by radiography we are able to know how much chances are there to heal the fracture properly next one is to visualize uh, su uh, suspected uh, fractures that are difficult to diagnose Uh, during palpation sometimes uh, there may be hairline fracture uh, that are not very uh, evident uh, uh, on palpation so we have to make an x-ray radiograph uh, that uh, help to diagnose while describing a fracture it is uh, very important to consider some point to mention uh, full information about the fracture these points are name of the bone with its sides then the site of fracture the third one is type of the fracture that may be short or long oblique fracture or may be transfer fracture uh, it all depends uh, the type of fracture you have to mention it then it is very important to mention a uh, displacement of the distal fragment of the fractured bone then angle of the fracture uh, with reference uh, to its apex uh, also mention the overriding of the distal fragment uh, Uh, then then the seventh one is you have to mention the soft tissues uh, shadow especially in acute cases you know that uh, there may be swelling due to inflammation uh, so you have to mention this also and the last one is pathological findings in bone which may be analytic changes or periosteal reaction in the previous video we have discussed in detail about the periosteal reaction uh the link of this is uh, given below in the description uh let's come to the radiograph uh, listen to this very carefully this is very important part of the video in which uh, i will tell you how we can uh, describe a fracture uh, here you can see that uh, the site of fracture first is to identify the bone and uh, its site uh, so this is the left femur and uh, the distal part is involved then uh, look at the type of the fracture you can see that this is short oblique fracture uh, so you have to mention it that uh, this is short oblique fracture as it is almost equal to the cortex of the bone if we talk about the displacement of the distal fragment then uh, you can see that uh, it is cordo dorsal displacement without any angulation uh, with almost 1 to 2 cm overriding and uh, the next one is soft tissue shadow uh, you have to comment on the soft tissue shadows uh, so soft uh, soft tissue shadow seems to be normal with no pathological signs on the bone uh, this is the second radiograph 
this is also a femur uh, with the, the proximal fracture uh, in this case distal fragment uh, is displaced cordo dorsally without any angulation uh, and uh, overriding is almost uh, 2 to 3 centimeter in this case and uh, there is also no soft tissue swelling or no uh, any type of periosteal changes or the pathological lesions you are uh, noticing here no radiology of fracture repair is very important to understand the age of the fracture or the time scale and uh, union of bone as a general indicator there are multiple radiographic changes uh, that can be noticed during healing that can be categorized on uh, the time scale it is just an assessment uh, on a different science uh, we can assess uh, uh, the uh, fracture age number one is recent fracture second one is uh, uh, we can categorize as one week to 10 days uh, the third one is uh, two to three weeks fourth one is four to eight weeks and sometimes uh, it may be uh, uh, eight to twelve weeks or uh, maybe longer now uh, in case of uh, recent fracture the uh, fracture lines become uh, uh, very sharp and well defined and uh, these uh, there will be definitely soft tissue swelling due to uh, acute inflammation or uh, acute inflammatory uh, response uh, so uh, these are the signs that you will notice in case of recent fractures the second one is 7 to 10 days uh, that may be uh, you can say one week to 10 days the fracture lines become uh, uh, no longer uh, sharp because there would be res a resorption of the bone along the fracture ends. At this uh, uh, stage, there will be hairline fracture that become more clear because uh, 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 because of the sclerotic uh, mass that is st that starts developing um, uh, during calcification. At this stage, uh, uh, hairline fracture become more clear. So this is very important. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, in the recent fractures uh, uh, if you get an uh, acute uh, case and uh, uh, you will see that there will be no any type of fracture but uh, after uh, if you uh, done uh, the radiograph uh, after 7 to 10 days uh, you will see that uh, there may be hairline fractures uh, um, at this stage basically hairline fracture become more clear due to some calcification or due to some uh, bone re reabsorption uh, that's why it become more clear stage 3 that is uh, uh, 2 to 3 weeks later uh, there will be evidence of the periosteal reaction and uh, calcification uh, or mineralization of the callus at this stage the gap between fracture line is being bridged by the help of calcification uh, you know that uh, uh, due to calcification the gap uh, between uh, the uh, uh, between the fragments uh, will be covered uh, by the help of calcification between four to eight weeks you will observe a strong bony callus at the fracture side and uh, there will be evidence of uh, bridging at this side uh, at this uh, uh, stage uh, the callus uh, become very strong and uh, full callus formation has been done uh, no the next step is 8 to 12 weeks or uh, more than that uh, this is basically remodeling stage now there will be radiological signs of remodeling and uh, reorganization of the callus uh, and the amount of bony callus will be decreasing why it is decreasing because uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, when there is formation of uh, a strong callus um, the periosteal uh, uh, lining is not uh, uh, according to the anatomical consideration so the body will try to reorganize and to remodel uh, this shape according to uh, its normal uh, uh, anatomical con uh, configuration so it is very important and it may take several uh, months so uh, uh, this is all about uh, the fracture age no, come towards the radiological signs of uh, fracture union. This point is very important for a clinician. So there will be signs of bridging uh, of fractured area with calcification 
at the same time obliteration of the fracture line will take place at 8 to 12 weeks you will be able to observe remodeling of the callus with restoration of continuity of the cortex and medullary cavity with restoration normal trabecular pattern here in this radiograph you can see this mid shaft femoral fracture in which intramedullary pinning uh, is done to fix it and uh, no this in this part you can uh, see the callus that is formed and uh, then remodeled almost this is another radiograph which shows callus formation this is also mid uh, shaft uh, tibial fracture and fracture type is almost transverse now come towards the radiological signs of the delayed or non union fracture uh, here you will observe clearly visible fracture line even after weeks with poor callus formation and uh, there will be imp uh, and uh, an important point is that you will find rounding of fracture ends that just look like elephant foot in such cases you will observe sclerosis at the both cortex of the bone and uh, callus formation in the medullary cavity so we call it as uh, elephant foot this is example of delayed on uh, delayed or non union fracture this is uh, an other radiograph in which hypertrophic non union radius can be seen no last one is radiological signs of mal union fractures these are uh, such type of fractures in which uh, bone is not healed in its proper anatomical configuration when a wave fracture has healed with fracture fragments in abnormal position there will be distortion of the bone but sometimes uh, uh, remodeling process minimize its effect it is not very common but uh, mostly it occur due to premature closure of the growth plate uh, or physis in the young dogs especially it mostly occur in radius and ulna and uh, ultimately result in angular limb deformity or radius curvus uh, this is a fractured radius of dog with mal union basically uh, an example of radius curvus uh, in which uh, uh, physis uh, is uh, compressed uh, in the uh, during growth period uh, there is a callus formation but in later stages uh, it uh, remodeling may minimize its effects so uh, this is all about the radiography of the fractures uh, i hope so that these informative videos uh, are helping you a lot in clinical practice uh, please like and uh, subscribe our channel for more informative video uh, if you have uh, any suggestion uh, then uh, you can comment us stay blessed allah hafiz